but I do love getting to going back and forth because they are diametrically opposite of each other. Such is the art of handcrafting a fine piece of lighting. Though whether Stuart Lawton so delicately employs his paintbrush for the lampshade or pounds away on a piece of metal to shape the fixture, he says often just depends on the day. Uh, one is very clean and it's very quiet and the other is the welding and the grinding and the banging. So uh, depending on what mood I'm in, uh, I'll do one or the other. For years, Lawton designed lamps for a major manufacturer. So what do you enjoy more? Of the but longing to build, he created his own shop, um, Lawton Art the Lighting, Lighting, these days working from his home in Montville. So lamp maker or artist? So it's a combination of both. I am an, an artist. I have a Master's of Fine Art. So um, I have the, the background in art, but uh, there's something about lighting. It's neat how it's just spreading. Uh, yeah, this is the exciting part is what's going on right now. Lawton does admit if pressed, it's the painting that excites him the most. A self-taught method of silk painting using a special latex and dyes, which allow the colors to expand and absorb into the materials. A process where you just simply touch uh, the paintbrush that has the dye onto the silk and you can move it around a bit, but you don't have to move it around too much because the silk will start pulling the dye. The process, what it is, ensures that no two lamps can ever turn out exactly alike. But whether muscling a piece of steel into shape or dabbing a few drops of dye, Lawton says he's inspired by the challenge of his craft, creating a colorful, attractive piece which actually works. There's something about functional art. Being able to make something creative uh, that you can actually use, to me, is, is it's very exciting. And it is not just the artistic flair. Latin says uh, while building the lamps, he's also found a way to eliminate the traditional nuts, bolts, and washers used in many brands.